Hey guys, welcome back to Care Digital, where I teach you how to create, connect, and earn in the digital space. So this week, I'm so excited to be talking about online presence once again, but this time it's for my small business owners and entrepreneurs, right? So in my last video, I talked about building your online presence and the approaches that worked for me. And this week, I'll be giving you five reasons why you need to have an online presence and why you need to start showing up online for your customers. Let's go. Hey guys, I have my laptop here. So just in case you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my laptop for my notes. All right, let's jump right into it. So what's an online presence? Online presence is a sum of identities you have created online, right? And for your business, this includes your social media, your website, online directories that you have, you know, established online and just how you show up online pretty much, right? The misconception for a lot of people and business owners is that, oh, I am not, I do have a social media, I do have a website. That means I don't have an online presence, right? But as I said before, it's just a sum of identities you have created and how you pretty much show online that makes your online presence cool so gone are the days when you just had to rely on a physical location for persons to find you these days people are googling google is like a lot of people's best friends if i hear about a business chances are i am googling that 99.9 percent .9 of i am googling that business because I want to know more about them. And if I Google them and I don't find them online, then I'm a disappointed customer, right? And your customers are online and your customers are looking to see you online. So if you're not there, you are missing out on so much. Also, your competitors are online. So why wouldn't you want to be online? Think about it, right? And as a customer, you are Googling other businesses. So, might as well let us create something online show up for your customers and be there so the first reason why you want to be online is because your customers are looking for you online we're in this era where it's all about the internet technology and the good old smartphone that we have a lot of us are very mobile like if you check the stats like over 90 percent of people are utilizing mobile to search online right and people are going online to get not only information on your business but they want to get reviews well pretty much they get information about your business which includes their reviews probably they want your contact number probably they want directions probably they just want to see what you have to offer right so that's the first reason why you need to be online or have an online presence is because your customers are online and they're looking to see you there number two you want to be online because it helps you to establish credibility and trust a lot of customers have admitted that if they are you know planning to support a business or work at a particular company they are looking for them to have a website and i can't tell you how many companies don't have a website no website is a major investment and it's one of the investments businesses should make right we can't only rely on social media to say well we have an online presence but if that's the start well fine but a lot of companies or persons are looking for companies to have a website because the co the website tells a lot about the company and you know if you don't have a website or an, even an updated website it says a lot about you and how you show up right so think about it if you want to build your credibility and trust you have to have a home a hub where your customers can find out more about your business what you offer how you serve them and that kind of information also the worst thing that can ever happen is if your website is not functional guys you want a functional website i can't tell you how much companies i've seen like they have the domain name right and the url and your type of team www.x.com when you search oh there this website is no longer 
um, or this website is expired or no longer in service kind of situation like um, hold on what's going on with your company what's going on with your website so when you do those kind of things and you don't show up online in a really credible way you create errors or just loopholes for your customers to question you right so you want to really leverage your online presence by creating um, you know just a home where your customers can find you so you can eventually create a trusting relationship between your business and potential customers sounds good yeah all right two, well not two three give your business a voice all right so remember i mentioned earlier in terms of building that credibility and building that trust it links back to giving your business a voice so when you have a website or when you have an online presence it gives your company a voice because a lot of times when we show up online the way how your company communicates says a lot about the company what you write online how you say it says a lot so you need to be an effective communicator right when you start building your online presence right how you speak says a lot about your companies especially when it comes to social issues your customers want to know what you stand for what you believe in you know all of those things so give your company a voice by establishing an online presence sounds good all right and number four you reach a greater audience guys this is a major one listen like even if you have a physical location it's great you can get people from the community or just city outside outside of where you're from or whatever to come to your physical location but those days are not here anymore people are now connecting with customers all around the world once you have an established online presence you're not just getting customers from down the road or around the road or up the road you're getting customers from probably a different city a different town a different continent a different country guys you want to have an online presence for that reason because what you're reaching a greater audience right i can't tell you how beneficial it has been for me personally to have an online presence because guess what once i put myself out there i'm getting clients who contact me from canada i'm getting contact um clients who contact me from the us from as far as australia just because of a online presence right and if you want to diversify the way you do things you need to be online right and that is where you reach greater eyes and they get more you know just more potential for you to earn more and generate more cool sounds good all right let's jump right into number five let's take a break a while ago because the time is really humid and really hot in jamaica right now right climate change is such a big thing and like i literally have my brush here where i just pat into my face and i have to turn on the fan every now and then because i don't have an ac unit right now right and it's just so hot so <laughs> i just had to just share that with you guys i don't know how you guys are dealing with the heat if you're dealing with it really well let me know like comment below how are you really dealing with just the change in temperature where you are located and yeah tell me where you in the world you're located in the comments below i'd love to hear all right so let's so yes number five is improve your customer experience right you want to find better ways you can engage your audience no when you have an online presence your customers are coming to your website they're coming to social media you know what that means you have provided even more ways for your customers to interact with you right um you might realize based on all the reasons i'm giving you it's just more diverse ways to communicate with your customers right so improving your customer experience means that you're going to show up online and pro provide like really good customer experience so you're going to make yourself very accessible via direct messages on social media platforms via messenger on social media platforms via chat boxes or chat box on your website via chat bot right so a chat bot is like automated messages that helps to communicate 
with your customers especially when you're not online so those are some ways you can enhance your customer experience like for me i am very like really enthusiastic and love a company that focuses on customer experience not just what they say but how they do things like i like to know that when i place my order with a company i don't only get an email but chances are i might get a text message or i might get a social media message that says hey your 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 package has been shipped off and you might get it on this particular day so you want to think about just creative ways you can better engage your audience through good customer experience by having an online presence all right and then we want to talk about this major one e-commerce e-commerce is growing and you don't want to miss out on having a piece of that pie for yourself right think about you like when was the last time you went to a physical location to shop like i haven't i've gone to the supermarket because you know that's groceries but for persons who are probably based in the u.s like a lot of persons now are like using platforms or online platforms to shop for groceries and especially in this whole you know covid19 pandemic so much more people are shopping online businesses are literally transforming from just you know getting customers or driving customers to physical locations now you have companies and small business owners that are like yeah purchase stuff from me online purchase stuff through instagram purchase stuff from my website right and this is a big one guys once you have a social media platform you can also leverage that to sell your products and your services outside of those, you know engaging them so you want to think about that as well e-commerce is growing and it's an era we really want to tap into like it's also for convenience like if i can eliminate driving to a location or going to a physical location to purchase certain things i won't i really spend a lot of my time doing stuff or purchasing stuff online um think about it all these amazon person persons who love shopping on amazon or fashion over or you know getting the stuff on bath and body works you know or even when like do you guys support online shops like instagram shops or facebook shops if you do comment below i'd love to hear and probably you can shout out one and two of those business in the comments below so i can check them out for myself because i really like supporting small businesses sounds good all right so yeah and bonus you really want to optimize local search so as i mentioned before your customers are looking for you online and these days a lot of people like to type in google um barber near me supermarket near me because instantly when you write those things you find locations or businesses that are in within a particular radius where you are located so that's a good way to do it if you have a physical location i would highly suggest that you get a google business um account like i think it's called google my business i hope i'm not mistaken i don't i hope i don't have it incorrectly but it's actually google my business correct google my business so if you have a physical location you want to create a google my business profile where you can you know indicate where your business locates here you can provide keywords where you know customers can like be easier to find you right so those are some of the things um that you really need to jump on and those are five reasons plus that awesome bonus reason why you should have an online presence as a small business owner so you might be asking where do i start a great place to start is to create a home in the digital space and my well by home i'm talking about having a website you need to invest in a website as a small business owner there are so many platforms that you can leverage you have wix you have squarespace you have wordpress you have um shopify shopify is a very great one that you guys can check out in terms of building a website where your customers can find you online if you have products those platforms are really really good to utilize i'm not saying you shouldn't utilize social media 
to showcase those products you should use social media as a channel and not your home when you're building your online presence so think about those things right so as i said before the great place to start is to build a website and very important you need to have a social media presence you need to know where your customers are and you need to go exactly where they are and serve them so if your customers are on facebook you need to ensure that you're on facebook and you're engaging them and you're providing value i'm gonna go on that point in a few right so you need to be anywhere your customers are you need to be where they are you're supposed to be providing value and you're supposed to be serving them in addition to selling the products because once you're on those platforms guys and you're using the right hashtags and you're using the right keywords and you're providing valuable service or just providing value to your customers word of mouth is like one of the most powerful things that will work in your advantage right so those are the some of the things that you really want to have the website the social media and as i said you want to provide value right so if you're online as a business owner do not just come on social media and tell me you're selling me a makeup brush show me how to use the makeup brush tell me why i need to buy that makeup brush so i'm tapping <laughs> tell me how i should use that makeup brush just be very creative and provide value for your customers, right? And when I talk about value, you need to identify what are the pain points of your customers and you create content around that, right? I want you guys to definitely check out my previous video where I talked about building your online presence because I really dived a little deeper in terms of how you create the value and the type of posts you can create. And you can also check out my webinar that I did with HR Boss on building your online presence. I really dived a little deeper into that in terms of how to create value and the type of course you can create. And that's just about it guys. And let me just mention also before I, you know, you need to be active and engaging with your customers. Now listen to me, show up consistently is one thing, but be active right you need to be active you need to be engaged you need to be social and you need to show your personality as a business so everything ties back into one you know if you think about it right because as i said earlier your customers are looking to see online so which means they need to show up online and be active online and provide value online and be consistent online you also need to have a voice online which connects right back you know so being social and engaging then as i mentioned earlier hope i'm not missing anything you need to you're reaching a wider audience and because you're reaching a wider audience and people quite possibly outside of your little town or your little city or your country then you need to find diverse ways to connect with those audience even for me i'm on so on youtube now and i am not just having viewers from jamaica Right, I'm having viewers from all parts of the world and you know, so I have to think about different ways to communicate without you know losing my customers. I have to be engaging, I have to be social, I have to be consistent, I have to be able to touch on pain points and that kind of thing. Use these little tips, use these tips and apply them to your small business. Because your business small don't mean you should overlook and overlook it and sleep on it, right? utilize these tips utilize these strategies and jump on leveraging the online presence thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions definitely comment below i will be glad to answer them and definitely check out the links in the description because i'll be sharing a lot of resources on how you can definitely start building your online presence for your business starting today until next time bye